Well, You'd like copies of them on CD. I would, yeah. I'll tell you what, why don't you keep those? I don't know, what about them? No, because I can do them, I'll do them when I go home. Okay. Now, these are not CD digital remastered I copies, understand. okay? You're these are fucking scratchy vinyl. Wonderful. <laughs> These are, in fact, my daddy's copy of My well, Boy. Yeah. Well, this one. These are this. So I want you to read a bit of this. This is the last present I gave him when he was alive. A little For inscription God's in 74. Sake. You wouldn't be able to read my writing. So that was, uh, yeah, the last gift I gave him. Sticky <laughs> Harris, you've got old, boy. <laughs> You're getting old. In Ainho, we had a house in Ainho, and we went to a pub. In, uh, in Dennington, Deddington, Deddington, and there was a party on there. Someone was throwing a party, and there was a girl, she was done great. She was stunning, long, long red. Oh, so I went up and chatted her up, chatted her, chatted her, chatted her, made her laugh, told her some stories. She knew who I was, and I went up and went Bob was closing at 11. I said, Look, I said, We've got a house. I said, I have a house. I said, It's only about six miles from me. I said, Come on, we'll all go back. And she said, Okay, yes, all right. And then she turned, turned and said, she said, Richard, you're not trying to pick me up, here. Yeah? And I said, yes, I am. She said, Richard, for God's sake, you could be my grandfather. What do you do to that? Okay. You disappear, don't you? You do, excuse me. You say yes. <laughs> you, you bail out the window. <laughs> you, you say, Give, have you got a parachute? Without a parachute. Without a parachute. <laughs> I mentioned when we kicked off the radio show, I mentioned your poetry album, which sold, I think, four copies, and I bought two. So it wasn't... Uh... Excuse me, Sam. I want you to know this. That it went into two printings with Random House, all sold out. The album now, not the, not the, I'm talking about the album. Oh no, the album was. Yeah, that's what I mean, because oh, listen, oh. Richard, now, I saw you throw the album across. Remember my famous story? <laughs> what? I was a student in America and you were on the Carson show or something, yeah. and, they, and the, the guy interviewing you said, Cash, cash box or billboard says this is an incredibly moving album. And you picked it up and flung the sleeve across the, uh, the floor and you said, It's moving now. Did I? <laughs> I, I, I know, there's the greatest plug for an album I ever got. Jesus Christ, I had the edge in those days. I've been, I'm growing into, do you know, I, I really believe that I'm growing into a 70 year old bore. I, I think so, I think so. No, I, no, I no. think so. No, 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 and then you, you rise up and rebel against it. Against the, <laughs> against the dying of the light. <laughs> the dying. And you, dear father, there on that sad height, curse and bless me with your sweet tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into the good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. But isn't that what you've always done? We talked about that in 87. Raging against the eventual dying of the light. Yeah. You know. It's approaching. <laughs> Is it outside the door today? I want to see. Well, I'll, I'm going to try and beat the old Queen Mum. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't adopt her dress sense. <laughs> what? What? Don't adopt her dress sense. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can't talk. Look at me. Yeah. Did you hear about me? Then? Did you hear about me in the Ivy? Someone wrote an article about nine months ago. He was taken. Someone took him. He was in England, and some. And he, said, he said he wanted to go to all the famous restaurants. So he, he was taken by, 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 by this. Who was this? Some American. All oh, right, okay. And then he was taken there right, by this journalist, and suddenly the journalist and he said, "Now where do all the actors go?" And they said, "They go to a place called the Ivy," and it so happened. I don't mix. You, you probably know with actors at all. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. I just. Yeah. They're not my scene, and they're probably delighted that I ignore them. <laughs> And so, <coughs> Noel Pearson was in town, and we, I think with Brian Friel, uh, talking about Dancing at Lunasa, the movie of Dancing at Lunasa, which is about two, year, two, two, two and a half, three years ago. And uh, so Noel wanted to go to the Ivy, and I made him an exception, because I don't, I don't eat there at all, I wouldn't go there. Nothing wrong with it, it's right. a wonderful place, but it's right. always full of loveies and doveys. Oh, yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't like that. So, so I went with, with, with Brian, Freel, who I admire immensely, and with Noel Pearson, and uh, and of course the way I dress. I mean, I don't make any exception of how I dress. And so, th this guy had just left the restaurant, right, and they were waiting for a taxi, while Pearson, myself, and and Freel came out. And the guy looked. And he said to the journalist, "He said, I thought that this, I thought this restaurant was very exclusive." And he said, well, yes, it is. He said, but look, there's a tramp just coming out the door. And he said, that tramp is Richard Harris. 
You love it. The tram yeah, shiny. Yeah, yeah, tram tram <laughs> shiny. <laughs> a Beckettian tramp. Yeah. You should have pointed out to him it's a Beckettian tramp. Bequette. Much different thing. Beckett. Oh, be oh Beckettian tramp. Wouldn't yeah. that be much more? Oh, look at what? that here. I'm just reading it now again. Oh, are you? Damn to fame. All right, okay. Before you do disappear, I thank you very much for today's program. I'm delighted, Joe. <laughs> To maintain our great friendship. <laughs> and this is the way he lived and lives <laughs> his life. <laughs>